Welcome into the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein. Uh, Today, we're going to Arthur Avenue in the Bronx to discuss what we're hearing over uh, at OG slash Gangster Report uh, is the promotion of uh, the Arthur Avenue OG, Patsy Perello. Um, What we're hearing is that uh, since uh, Patsy got out of prison in the last couple of years, he was promoted into the administration of the Genovese crime family. Uh, most of my sources are telling me he's the conciliary. Uh, I've had a couple other people tell me he's uh, taken, taken the job as, as Barney's acting street boss, acting boss, acting underboss. Uh, I still believe Ernie's the underboss. But uh, most likely, I, I think, uh, Patsy is now conciliary. Um, you know, this guy is one of the most respected, wise guys in all of New York City, uh, really in, in all of the East Coast region of the United States. It it, it only makes sense that uh, as he uh, as his tenure grows and uh, uh, more guys fall by the wayside, whether uh, you know, just general attrition, whether by going to prison or, or dying, that uh, Patsy would eventually make it make his way uh, from capo regime into the administration. And uh, like I said, this guy is uh, old school. Uh, what's sadly what's one of the things most notable about him is his decades decades long quest to avenge the murder of his son and namesake, uh, a situation from thirty years ago where uh, we should also mention that, you know, Patsy's headquarters is Pasquale's Rigoletto, his uh, restaurant on Arthur Avenue in the Bronx. That's, the, you know, the Little Italy neighborhood in the Bronx. Uh, it's been a staple there for three, three and a half decades. And uh, back in 93, Patsy Perello got into a skirmish with uh, a Gambino crew specifically Frank Lucasio's son, Tori. Frankie Loke was uh, John Gotti's underboss, conciliary. His son, Tori, was a made guy and uh, was causing a ruckus, acting unruly. Uh, uh, Patsy Prello at that time, uh, I believe he was only a soldier. I don't think he was a captain yet. I could be wrong. Um, slapped him. And... Uh, this was a great great offense because of who uh, Tori Lacasio's dad was. Frankie Loke was was uh, locked up in, on the Gotti case, and uh, according to court files and what some prosecutors have believed in the charge in some cases, uh, hired a, a Albanian mobster connected to the, the Locasio group, uh, and they murdered Patsy's son um, over the next like I said, next two decades, up until somewhat recently, uh, Patsy has has sought to uh, kill the guy that is alleged to have killed his son. Uh, This Albanian gangster went went on trial for the uh, murder of the younger Perello and was acquitted. But um, as recently as, you know, 10 years ago, in the last 10 years or so, uh, there's been some aborted plots uh, caught by the feds of um, Perello trying to uh, locate this guy and and, and kill him uh, for what he did to, to his son 30 years ago. But, uh, you know, Patsy uh, is a guy that, you know, his his name rings loud and clear uh, all across, you know, w- w- transcends the Bronx. Um, he was doing, a, doing business with Joey Merlino and the Philly guys. Uh, that's how he got hemmed up in his last case, uh, the 2016 East Coast LCN bust. Uh, Patsy did uh, five, six years on it, uh, came out uh, in 2022. So uh, we're hearing that he's in the admin right now, most likely the conciliary. We'll keep you updated with all the latest promotions, demotions, arrests, um, 
all, all, all the, the 411 here at the OG. Scott Bernstein, OG Pod, out. Mm-hmm.